My name is Ed, and uh, my group is uh, Anna Marie, who works in Foundation Studies, and uh, Kay, who is my colleague at the Cooper Conference. Um, the question arose, um, what, is, how, what is the link between values, uh, purposes, and reasons? And, and we believe that the link is that they all determine behavior. Um, and they determine behavior, in, in, it can be in very specific ways. If you have, we start with values, because values really kind of inform what uh, reasons and purposes we have. And once, once these are in place, that determines behavior. And the interesting thing is that once we have the behavior, once that manifests, once the reasons and purposes reveal the values as we see in a person's behavior, the person always has the option, if they're paying attention, to go back to their values based upon their behavior to re-examine them, to shift them a little bit, to fine tune them. Is this is my behavior really revealing my purposes? Is it helping me? Is it doing what I want? Is it getting me what I want and need? And if it's not, then perhaps we can go back and re-examine the values, which means that we re-examine our reasons and purposes and then put in place new behaviors. And that's how we grow, and that's the link, I think, uh, to those things. Ed, do you want to take some questions from the oh, Sure, yeah, like I know anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got one. I, I just question the way you went values, reasons, purposes. I would have thought you'd go values, purposes, reasons. Mm -hmm. Might be nitpicking, I don't know. What's or the difference? Semantics. That's the question. What's the difference? Uh, it seems to me the purpose is a higher order thing than a reason. Okay. But that's just my... Yeah. Does that work with everyone? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are, what's, what's another way to talk, what's a way to, to, to talk with that idea? I mean, I, I like it I like both of what you said, but I think they conflict. I think the purposes is the higher, which is why it comes second. Okay. Okay, so that works for you. What are you saying works for you? No, what you had works for me when the purpose comes second. Can we make room that <laughs> these are not fixed? That even though our values, we like to think, are fixed, our reasons and purposes change through the social context? Okay, and that's classic rhetorical uh, 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 a rhetorical uh, uh, reading right there. You have uh, a social context within which we operate. Okay? So while we like to think our values don't change, and, and hopefully they don't, our purposes and reasons, whichever order we put them in, may shift depending on the social context. For, exa for example, are you working autonomously? Okay? That social context is really easy for us to operate in. But are you working collaboratively? <coughs> What are the other <coughs> values, reasons, and purposes that the people you're collaborating with are bringing to the situation? That will shift the social context, especially if the people you're collaborating with have a power dynamic over you. Okay. Then it's less your values, purposes, and reasons, and more theirs. Sorry, and to be mm. controversial, I actually think values do change, and I think they change a lot quicker than we give them credit for. Um, they change in social context and they change after significant life events. Beautiful. Can you give an example? Mm -hmm. Oh, something like um, a, a career woman then having a child. Values will shift completely. My partner or, did that and my values shifted completely too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, values socially will change, so my value for money might be def very different in work than it is in family. So social context, do you think, takes a bigger role then? Should it not be where we're at and who we're with matters. I tell you what, my world changed when my child showed up. Mm. I know those of you who are parents probably feel the same way. So that social context shifted my values, which shifted my purposes and reasons, and boy, I hope they've shifted my behaviors enough. <laughs> That's lovely. Thanks ever so much indeed. That's really Cheers. lovely. Thank Thanks. You. Yeah. <laughs>